Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. There is just a ton of breaking news at PrisonPlanet.com and Infowars.com. I'll cover some of it and then get to our guests in the next segment. Let's go to your calls right now. Who's up next, John? I know you've been going through the callers. Who should I go to next? By going through the callers, we don't really screen them. When people have been on hold a while, he goes to make sure people are there. And then it changes the timer to see who's been holding the longest. Uh, let's talk to Seth in Ohio. Thanks for holding her on the air. Hi, Alex. Uh, I'm Seth uh, from FEMA Region 5, or uh, formerly known as Ohio. Uh, I just wanted to go into a question, but first I wanted to let you know that uh, everything that you say is racist. <laughs> and, uh, oh my gosh, you don't want secret geoengineering and open borders and take your guns? Oh We're only God. buying armored vehicles, and the police are killing people that videotape them, and the foreign banks run us. I mean, my goodness, why don't you like everything you do being watched illegally? I'm liberal. I talk like this. Sorry. Oh, man. Uh, well, I wanted to ask you a question. Uh, I wanted to go out with a couple of my buddies and my girlfriend on the 4th of July and uh, pass out flyers to raise awareness of, uh, you know, uh, the Bill of Rights and, you know, what rights people have as American citizens, and I was just looking for your professional opinion. Well, I think you should take some Prozac, drink some liquor. I'm being sarcastic, folks. Don't do that. And uh, just do whatever you're told. Like Britney Spears says, do whatever our president says or you're a homophobe racist, okay? No. <laughs> do whatever I say. Give me all your money or I'll say you're bad. And you don't want to not be under peer pressure. Do what you're told. Yes. No, no, I mean, I mean, that's a great idea. What should you do on the 4th of July to wake people up? I think if you've been fighting tyranny, you should relax and have a good time on the 4th of July. Uh, but if you haven't been, I mean, I would go out where they're going to have Army and National Guard and people at fireworks displays. It'll be open green fields like Austin. And a, a, a quote, terrorist, ISIS, funded by the government, could come through at any point and blow people up. But they'll have a checkpoint just to train you and, and, and have an act of domination where you walk through and they search you. And so you should just go up and say, you know, if there was a real terrorist like ISIS, our government runs, they would just blow up this line, the biggest concentration of people. Look, this whole field's wide open. Why is the army on here? Don't know, sir. Just trying to keep you safe. Well, listen, National Guardsmen, I'm not against you personally. But we should have a whole discussion about, come on, sir, just let us go to the line. No, this is July 4th. No other country does this. This is a police state. Our government funds ISIS. I mean, that's the kind of stuff I'd do. I'd go up to these parks and stuff, you know, like last 4th of July that have signs saying, you know, uh, you know, no free speech, no demonstration. What was that sign yesterday about, you know, no dogs, no drinking, no loud talking in the park? I mean, this is literally a criminal government trying to train us to be good slaves. And trying to breed out of us basic human uh, freedom. And, 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 and they want you to act like a prisoner in a medium security prison. And so th there it is. First Amendment expression area. This has been set aside for individual groups exercising the constitutional rights. Again, exercise it everywhere. Yeah, that's the, not the sign. There was a 4th of July sign that said you had no rights. So folks stuck another one up on it saying, yes, you do. So I don't know. I mean, I would go out and hang up signs saying Homeland Security is here to destroy America and absorb the nation, which I always said. It's the Immigrant Importation Agency. You know, it's no longer uh, 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 the Border Patrol. It's no longer ICE. It is literally the uh, you know, Homeland Security is the Homeland uh, Immigration Importation Facility. So just go out. Put up pro-gun signs, go to Kinko's today or some mom-and-pop place, print up 100 flyers you make. There it is. July 4th, park rules. No generators or propane grills. No tents or shelters. Police will be conducting searches of bags and coolers for reasons of public safety. No alcoholic beverages at any time. No personal fireworks, including novelty fireworks or sparklers. No dogs or pets allowed. Skate park, baseball courts, tennis courts, and kids' cove will close at 7 p.m. Notice the entire park is under video surveillance. I mean, that's... I hear 
with a special July 4th transmission in the first hour. I'm going to tape a special report today about that for the first hour tomorrow. And then we'll be back Sunday with the Sunday live transmission, 4 to 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. We've got a lot of breaking news at Infowars.com. Family calls 911 as son threatens suicide. Cops show up and kill him. That is a more and more familiar uh, thing that we see. Visiting websites about privacy gets you put on an NSA database of extremists. That's breaking at Infowars.com. TSA plans enhance security for Fourth of July travelers. Worried about ISIS terrorists, our government publicly created bipartisanly and gave missiles to, and then armed to attack and destabilize the whole Middle East and cause a sectarian civil war. Because we have a government policy of destabilization. BBC reporter says Google moving to suppress legitimate journalism of sites like Infowars.com. Impeach Obama protester charged for flying Infowars. Again, impeach Obama protester charged for flying Infowars Gadsden flag. Can't make that stuff up. That's in California. Independence Day, 79% of Americans are completely okay with the current level of tyranny. I don't believe that new poll. Neither does that writer. And then it gets into the fact that only 7% approve of Congress. The BRACs are morphing into an anti-dollar alliance. American sense of freedom plummets by another 12% since a poll last year. That's just some of the news up on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. Now, we are joined here until close to the end of the hour. Then I'll go back to the callers that are holding. We are joined by Professor Daryl Hamamoto, and he uh, teach and is taught at the University of California, Davis, for most of his academic career. He holds an undergraduate and graduate degrees in political science, popular culture studies, and comparative culture. Hamamoto is a senior ranking professor in the Department of Asian American Studies, he is a recognized authority in U.S. media. I've seen him on TV a lot of times. Popular culture and sexuality, having published extensively in these areas. Hamamoto is a recipient of the Rockefeller Foundation Research Fellowship, UCLA. So he's a prestigious scholar and a Fulbright scholar, Japan. His current project is a volume and outlines the principles of New World Order Theory and is directed to the current generation college and university undergraduates in search of alternatives to the dominant foundation guided corporatist curriculum. So that's pretty revolutionary if you know what that means, because we live under a foundation corporatist roadmap of the mind system. So he's a, a very interesting uh, fellow. In fact, I was familiar with his work before uh, we got in contact with him about some of his current papers that I know he's getting heat from uh, at UC Davis uh, dealing with all this where he currently resides and the headline from last week uh, that Paul Watson uh, uh, wrote a story about UC professor immigration influx is about re-education of society. Hamamoto warns amnesty will lead to creation of subservient underclass which is just what Lord Moncton just said because that's what it is. But, but he's a real technical expert not just a layman with my own street, you know, uh, jive, you could say, definitions. He can give you the technical definitions, you know, via the Ford Foundation, the Rockefeller Foundation, and he joins us uh, right now from California. Uh, thank you so much for coming on, Professor. Thank you, Alex, and welcome back from your vacation. Thank you, sir. Well, wow, I mean, in layman's terms, where does this all begin? Well, it begins uh, in junior high school when I was uh, voted class clown. And early <laughs> on, I discovered that uh, uh, in my academic career, I discovered early on that I could either write uh, an obscure article and publish it in an even more obscure academic journal that nobody reads. And the real important issues of our day will just go unnoticed. Uh, and I discovered that if I do a little bit of uh, japery and um, parody that I'm getting far more attention with uh, serious issues. And that's been my modus operandi uh, ever since in the classroom. And there's uh, some of it in my scholarship as well. Get into what you mean by this foundation driven cultural uh, map. Let me give the exact uh, quote here. In search of alternatives to the dominant 
foundation guided corporatist curriculum because i mean that's clearly what it is a fake left a fake right and then you also talk about some of the new sub cults that they're setting up kind of race cults pretty frightening stuff by the establishment um, uh, break it down for us yes there's the race and the ethnicity cults but importantly i don't know if we're going to be able to get into this there's also the uh, GLBT agenda, which has absolutely nothing to do with uh, GBL, GBL or T people. It's just a pretext in order to um, uh, riot herd, so to speak, on the rest of the um, academic community. But going to your question, uh, this really started to kick in right after World War II, when the social scientists, the behavioral scientists uh, had uh, compiled all this information they had gathered during World War II. And by the way, a lot of it was done on the backs of Asian Americans, like Japanese Americans in the concentration camps, were studied by a large number of mostly anthropologists and social scientists. Anyway, all that information was compiled and passed on to the foundations and used as tools for social control, political manipulation, mind control, you name it, the full spectrum, as you refer to it, of domination. So what we're coming back with uh, in response 